Hey, I'm Ron Davis from the Tactical Folks community. Today we will be talking about entry. Doors are among critical and dangerous components of close quarter battles. Let's uncover some fundamental dynamics of CQB to understand why. Notice how all the operators focus directly on the door. It is a natural human behavior. The risk naturally encourages you to tunnel vision onto it. In this example, the entry team has a 2 to 1 numeric superiority. But in CQB, the odds shift quickly. On the threshold, the high risk of friendly fire changes the balance of power to one operator against two hostiles. These choke points also slow down your team, even creating a deadly traffic jam. That's why we call them fatal funnels. Now, let's see how to address fatal funnels efficiently. Great room clearing starts before opening the door. An excellent initial position smooths out any subsequent actions. Who does what, when, and where is a simple consequence of it? A classic single stack requires the operators to form a line perpendicular to the funnel. Proper stacking seems obvious and trivial, yet it's the most overlooked step of an entry. Here, the third and fourth operators on standby must accept to be blind. In ready or not, you can view the body cam of your teammate without compromising your position or adding chaos to the situation. After stacking, you can reduce the entry risk by collecting intel. We already covered how to operate the OptiWand properly in a previous video. Check the link in the description. Based on the information, it's time to decide how you want to enter the room. Open and clear is the most basic entry. Peeking is another option to collect information. Small tip, if you are on the handle side of a door, free leaning allows you to peek the door without walking in the fatal funnel. Peeking helps deal with traps, but it could also lead to a different entry style where the operator partially clears the room from outside. We explained this in our previous video about slicing. Don't forget to leverage passive clues like audible. Now, when access is denied or when violence of action is required, breaching offers dynamic, loud, destructive, and even lethal options. Tactical aids, like flashbang or CS gas, complement the framework of an entry team. These non-lethal tools are designed to counterbalance the risk caused by the fatal funnel. I won't lie to you. Doorways and thresholds are a nightmare. But you are now equipped to mitigate their risks. Preparation is mandatory, information is priceless. Both are intrinsic to the quality of your action. A good team adapts to the situation, combining and leveraging these options efficiently to the highly volatile environment of CQB. To summarize, beware of the fatal funnel. Stacking up properly is more challenging than you think. The element of surprise should not be against you. Invest in information. Continuously adapt to the situation. Finally, tactics are not written in stone. Some doctrines favor, some approaches more than others for contextual reasons. But keep in mind that tools are not solutions. If you are ready for more, like and subscribe.